All right, I think it's time to get out of here. It's getting too loud. We're gonna head out towards uh, Ibiza and Palma uh, against the wind, but winds are against us all week, so let's just get going. We are backing out here. Slow down, so I'm going. Looking good. It's going its own way. Whichever way it pleases. night for a sail. So far the winds are pretty much nil. Maybe they'll pick up a little bit if we get a little further out. We'll see. If not, I'll probably motor an hour or two and just drift until the winds start. Well, we've got a tiny bit of, little bit of breeze now. So I put the autopilot on and I, I, I put the jib on the pole. So that's moving us. But man, it's so hot. So I'm just gonna put my fan on. I'm gonna put that thing on high. And I'm gonna go to bed. We're probably moving at less than one knot. So I'll just set a uh, anchor alarm if we go outside of that. Then I'll wake up and assess if we drifted at near shore or anything. Okay, so the wind has picked up quite a bit. If I close the windows now. Yeah, so wind's uh, in the high 20s now. Crazy. Uh, thing happened. The leech line came out of the jib and got wrapped around a spreader. And I was like, I couldn't get it to, when I was trying to attack, I couldn't get it uh, untangled. And I, like, I couldn't get it furled or so I, I just waited for it to luff until it ripped the, the line all the way off. Kind of scary. Like, it looked like the spreader was going to break. Uh, but now we're going again. Getting pretty rough. So I hope it, I guess the waves will probably get pretty big pretty soon. So I'm just gonna close up our windows and stuff. Wasn't really expecting conditions like this. It was super mellow <laughs> a couple hours ago. But whatever, maybe it's a Mediterranean thing. I just tacked uh, south. You could see there's a bunch of ships coming and going out of this port just north of me. So I'll just give them some room. Don't need to get mixed up in there. Oh, it's the next morning and beating up wind all night. We've made it 15 miles closer to our destination and eight hours of sailing, which is a little depressing, but it is progress and the waves aren't too big. Yeah, they're, they're only like three to four feet. We're just kind of heel over and bouncing about. I'm not really going that fast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sleep. Take a nap. Crossing through the shipping lane now. Lots of ships. That is a shipping lane. <laughs> it's not really marked in the chart, but it seems to be where all the ships have to go. We've done about 50 miles today. Uh, not great. It's a little, and it's been pretty uncomfortable. I need to get back. Get my, get my, I need to get my sea legs back. I've spent the last two weeks traveling around and staying in hotel rooms. But uh, I think I'll probably get into swinging in things again tomorrow because I've got at least another 24 hours probably to get to Ibiza. At least uh, things are getting a little bit more comfortable. Hopefully the wind holds up and doesn't die out all the way. Might even switch to be in our favor at some point, but probably not. I think we'll be beating up wind all, all the way there. But I've got to, I've got to meet Annalene in uh, a week in Barcelona, so just gotta go. Well, the sun is up. It's the next day. 
the next morning and we are sailing almost straight towards the visa now after a pretty pretty slow morning the wind's kind of come around i don't think i could even point us a few degrees closer let's adjust the wind vane here i mean on a pilot i took the wind vane off last night because the wind was dying and this wasn't really holding the course making some new noises here about but maybe we'll get in late tonight we'll see it's been a very slow passage and it's not looking great for the next few days either but at least i can hopefully i can spend a day on a visa <clears throat> maybe go to palma after that or maybe straight to barcelona but i'm kind of giving up giving up on sailing giving up on trying to find wind Turned on the motor. The wind direction is always wrong on this trip. Just gonna motor. We're gonna motor for a few hours. Just get the batteries topped off too. And hopefully we'll get some wind eventually and I can sail in. We got about still 40, 40 miles to go. <sighs> 40 more miles to go. It'll be midnight at least by the time we get in. Blue, blue water. It's a little bit of leftover swell from yesterday, but it's starting to, to level out. So that makes motoring not too bad. I've got the sail up to kind of steady us. I'm gonna try some of my mom's freeze dried food. This is sweet potatoes, April 2022. Over a year old. Okay. Awesome. Not bad. Good actually. Awesome. I can wear my mom's uh, dehydrated soups. The trick is you gotta soak it in cold water for like 15 minutes first. But now it's reconstituting really good. Sun is uh, getting close to setting. I can, I can see Ibiza, or actually I think it's uh, the nearby island of Formatera. Something like that. It's about 14 miles away. Unfortunately, I think it's gonna be dark by the time we get there. And there is a rule about anchoring on uh, the seagrass. They take really seriously. Apparently you gotta get the anchor on sand. So I don't think I'll be able to swim down and see if it's dark what the anchor's on. So we'll just have to hope we, hope we get sand. And then if it's not, when the sun comes up, we can, we can re-anchor real quick, but. Maybe, maybe I could shine the flashlight down and look. I don't know if I really want to swim down there after sunset though. Sometimes Google Maps will also show if it's seen it or not. There's the moon. We are two miles away. We can see the lights pretty good of the harbor there. And we are doing the best speed we've done all trip. We're about four knots. Kind of sad we gotta stop up here, but it'll be nice to, to stop in this anchor and get some rest and go for a swim tomorrow. I was looking at Google Maps and uh, the, it's pretty clear where the sandy bottoms are. Most of this bay that we're gonna be in will be sandy, so that should leave us plenty of anchor options. And I, I suspect it won't be too crowded because uh, this is more of the remote island, so I think it's more just day trippers probably mostly coming here. I mean, I can see on AIS there's, uh, okay, actually. I mean, on AIS, you can see there's, uh, like, there's like 12, 13 boats in there, but I think we just go right in the middle there, it'll be fine. It's really nice sailing with the glass removed on the, uh, the Dodger, like the breeze for one, but also just the nighttime visibility. I think if I do a future one, I'm definitely gonna make this a flip up piece of uh, glass so I can open it up at night Okay, so we are in the anchorage. There's about 50 boats here, so there's a ton of, ton of boats. And I really wanted to go closer in there, but uh, I was trying to sail in, so I thought I'd just anchor on the outside for now. I'm not sure, but I, I just suspect there's some spots closer in 
if you're clever. Did okay. Got a little closer to this black boat behind me than I would have liked. There's always one boat I get too close to, but at the, with the direction of the anchor, I think we're good. We're just drifting a different, different than everyone else. Here's a look at that track, 120 miles over two days, and a bit of motoring at the end there. So here's our anchorage in the morning. We're just gonna move a little closer. I think I can get some shallower water behind this motorboat here. Pretty crowded here. About maybe 50 or 60 boats. There's a little beach over there. That water is so nice. Anchor set. Take a look at the hull, see if it's still clean. Green growth actually, not too bad, but definitely stuff starting to grow on that little bit. No hard stuff though, fortunately. All right, so I think I'm gonna be brave and try to go ashore. This boat's so close. This anchorage, especially this catamaran behind me. But I don't really care if I scuff myself up. And he anchored after me, so it's his fault if anything happens. Adventure hiking around the shore. Not a whole lot to see there. And I got a nice little, got a stretch of legs after two days, 48 hours at sea. So I'm just gonna go about three miles around the corner and uh, swing by a grocery. And then if I still got time, I might find another like more secluded anchorage, like the ones over there, or maybe there's more on the outside. And if not, then I'll, if there's any wind, I'll probably just start sailing over towards uh, Mallorca. I got a slide. <laughs> it's getting hectic around here. I just put the sail up because I didn't really want to use the propeller with all these people swimming and stuff around here. So we're moving okay. So a few videos ago, I showed the, these uh, easy C winches that I was given. And I want to do a follow up now that I've been, I've been using them for a while. I was really kind of intrigued by the idea initially because I know it seems kind of nice just to not have to take the winch on and off, um, but I think ultimately I decided I don't really care for them, at least uh, for my what I'm using them what, for my needs. Uh, what it really comes down to is uh, it's just too fiddly to open this up and down. <laughs> like, see, if, it is a knack to do it, and if you do it right, it comes out nice and smooth. But if you do it just a little bit wrong, it kind of like binds up. And really, when it comes down to it, the motion of Putting the winch handle in and out is really no more difficult than getting these to fold up. So that's one reason. The other reason is they just don't really work that great for me 
Uh, one, there's like a, actually a technique you have to winch with. If you, you have to press down on the winch, <coughs> which again, like individually, it's not that hard to remember to press down. But like in strong conditions at night, you know, when things are not going right, I, I have them like fold up on me when you're trying to winch. It's super annoying. A uh, normal winch handheld <laughs> does not do that. Uh, and then probably the biggest thing is they're just not long enough. Like this is not a very big winch handle. You know, compared to something like this, you can see it doesn't have enough power. They claim you can winch like this, you know, but it's super awkward. I mean, in really nice conditions, yeah, you can do it, but this is not a great way to be. It's super unergonomic. You're gonna like throw out your back, and I've tried it like at night in strong conditions, and it just doesn't work. Uh, you need a, a real solid winch handle, and if they can't work in all conditions, I don't really want to want to deal with them. Like again, they work great, you know, in like nice sailing weather like this, where I can easily winch in. But nice days like this, I'm hardly ever using the winch handle, you know? Like I'm just, I could just, you know, pull it with two hands. So I like the idea. Unfortunately, I think I'll probably take them off the boat for now. Uh, maybe if your winches were geared a little lower or something, maybe they would work for you, for some people. Again, like it's just so easy to put the winch handle, you know, in and out with one hand in the dark. I could, it's like muscle memory for me. Uh, these are a little bit fiddly. Also, the, the concept is that you could just take the rope off it easily without it like having to take the winch handle off, but that's not always true. You see, it still will catch on the handle up here. Like it's, it's still something that you have to work your way around. And at night when you want to like, when I'm standing over on this side, you know, the boat's healed over really far and I just want to get that winch off there. It's like now it's all tangled up in this thing. And <clears throat> that's really, really frustrating and really frustrating for me. So I think it's been more frustration than it's worth. Also, getting the guy to ship them was kind of ridiculous. It took almost a year. I had to change the address three times because it was taking so long uh, to get them to me. So not really, they seem not to really have their uh, shipping together yet. There were a ton of good reviews on their website. So I'm curious if any of y'all have tried them and, and other people do like them. I mean, I've, I've sailed them probably 500, 600 miles with them so far. So I, I gave them a good, a fair chance. There's a pickle herring over there. This is a very uh, interesting like a motor sail trimaran or something with a very short mast. and a bag full of real groceries. There wasn't a good grocery store open uh, real late at night when I left um, Torre Vieja. So, didn't have a whole lot of great food, but they, this, this place had lots of good stuff. Um, it was just a little expensive, but uh, so I just need enough for about four days to get to Barcelona. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time when I sail to Mallorca. See you guys then.